my very first job, well, I don't know how far back we're going, but how I got my Screen Actors Guild card, that's like really taking it back. I was 16 years old in New York and I did a Wendy's commercial. That is how basically I got put on. Early on, especially with my very first hosting job, I literally went to essentially what could have been called a cattle call. I was so young, it was a line of over a thousand people and I was just excited. I brought as much energy as I could because I didn't know the first thing about hosting. I just felt like, oh, this will be fun, right? It's a music countdown show, why not? So I just really went with as much enthusiasm and passion as I could. And I remember being a sponge on set, literally walking every day on set and just absorbing as much information as I could. We didn't even have a standard prompter. This was when Mundo's first, first launch. We were like literally shooting out of Telemundo in Hialeah, Florida. If y'all know Hialeah, Florida, that's where Pitbull's from. You guys know, it's tough. <laughs> and it just forced me to get better. And I learned so much hands-on. I learned about production. I learned about so many things. I was actually 18 and I turned 19 two weeks later on the set of a show called The Roof. It was the very first show ever to feature reggaeton artists. We were the first ones to really interview Daddy Yankee, Diego Calderon, that Joe. He was actually my very first interview ever. So from Mundos, which is the network that The Roof was on, I went to BET. Sure enough, they were casting. Two weeks later, I went in and went through all of the rounds when they were looking to add new faces to BET and became the first Latina to ever host their flagship show, BET's 106 in Park. I saw a lot more Latinos in the audience as well once I came on. And then from BET, went over to MTV and hosted America's Best Dance Crew, the pre-show, and then Jersey Shore reunions, the Hills finale. So it's been a really exciting ride and mix of all kinds of things. Authenticity is important in everything that you do. No one is gonna believe you, and nowadays more than ever because things are just so transparent. And there's so many people that are experts, so many people that fall into the same category. You know, be a leader, not a follower. And now we're living in a world of followers. So it's really interesting how are you gonna stand out. And I think that only can happen is if you stick to what is truly at your core.